Hi, this is Trace HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. You can use this as a pick a card reading, one, two, or three, or a blended reading with all three cards for the beginning, middle, and end of the week. And I'm using the very beautiful Flowers of the Night Oracle, and this is by Sherilyn Darcy. And this is only the second time that I'm using this. I used this last week for the reading. Um, these cards were calling to me. Um, I've never used them uh, and I purchased them years ago. So uh, this is the, the messages that spirit wants us to hear as I, ooh, we already have a jumping card. So I'm going to take that one as we shuffle the deck. I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. And the jumping card that jumped, we're going to use that as card number one at the beginning of the week, the middle of the week or card two. I'm going to take a card from the center. Oops, we got too many here. And the end of the week or card three will be the bottom card. Okay, and let's see what we have here. The beginning of the week or card number one, the one that wanted to jump is patience. And this is a repeat card. And as you know, repeat cards are messages that need to be emphasized. And I know that this card is meant for me without a doubt because patience is not one of my qualities. <laughs> I'm not a very patient person and I've learned a lot by being patient recently, but this is a reminder that, you know, some of you out there also uh, need to have patience. Um, you know, this is resonating with a few of you, I'm sure, like it's resonating with me, where I have to keep reminding myself to slow down. This is telling you that, you know, maybe there is some type of a situation uh, that is going on in your life for quite a while. And, you know, this is not the time to, you know, jump into any hasty decisions. You know, maybe you need to uh, do your homework on a situation. Maybe it's a new job that's coming your way that maybe you need to check a few things before you say yes. Uh, maybe this is a new relationship that, you know, you may need to check a few things out before you say yes. Um, so basically this card's telling us, you know, it's not the time to rush into anything. Okay. Or make any hasty decisions because we might regret it. So you want to relax, maybe meditate, maybe go outside and connect with nature, uh, get some, you know, me time, maybe, you know, take a nice sea salt bath, anything you can do to ground yourself, okay, in order to be able to slow down and think, take things easy at this time. And, you know, sooner or later, you'll know when it's time to move forward. But this is basically telling you that, you know, be careful. Just don't make any quick decisions uh, and just don't rush into anything. And then in the middle of the week, or card number two, is clarity. So maybe since we took this time out in the beginning of the week, we're getting this clarity that we need. And the flower is sea moonflower. Beautiful blue flower. At first, I thought it was a morning glory because it looks just like the blue morning glories that I planted in my yard years ago. Um, unfortunately, they were eaten by the animals here because I have a lot of wild animals roaming around my property, but that's okay. They were just trying to survive like the rest of us. They didn't mean any harm. They didn't know. So beautiful remembrance of those morning glories. This card here is all about new ideas, clarity, and things you want to manifest and things that you've been manifesting that are starting to become a reality. Uh, that's what this is about. Um, education and learning to enable you to progress uh, to a position you're seeking um, are indicated as well as your ability to share your skills and knowledge, you know, maybe with other people that need it, you know, to learn these things around you. Um, courage may be displayed in some way and enable a shift in self-esteem, which is needed. Uh, someone, perhaps you, will come up with an idea in the face of adversity and, and bravely put it forth uh, with favorable results. Opportunities could be found in places where a mental aptitude is required. A victory is sure to happen soon with this card, um, if it hasn't already. And there is a chance that it will come suddenly before you even see it coming. Um, so this is a very good card to get in the middle of the week, or if you've chosen card number two, 
overall, think first before you leap. You know, make sure you understand what is required of you and all the implications. It may be time to reevaluate your plans or way of thinking. And then at the end of the week, or for those of you that picked card number three, we have motivation. Well, isn't that perfect? <laughs> we're getting the green light here. We're getting clarity. We know what we want to do. We're putting stuff in action. And then we're going to feel some motivation. We're going to put some motivation behind those actions. And that's what's going to lead to your success. And this uh, flower here is called four o'clock. Um, maybe you'll be motivated at four o'clock. I know at my job at three o'clock, I hit that terrible slump in the afternoon where I just wanted to crawl under my desk and sleep. So maybe you're going to get some late day motivation. I know since this is the end of the week card, four o'clock, that's just like an hour before quitting time at work, an hour before your happy hour and your weekend would begin. So isn't that synchronistic? Uh, well, whatever your situation is there, um, motivation is a beautiful card, um, and it's telling it's time to take action, your plans, uh, put them into motion, you know, turn your ideas into reality. If seeking the answer to a question, um, it's a positive yes. So if you're asking yourself, should I go for this? Should I do this? Should I do that? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, this card is the green light. It's telling you to, you know, proceed forward. Um, but focus is very important and breaking a huge undertaking into smaller tasks and making a commitment to stick to them is what's best for you to do. So if it's some huge undertaking, take baby steps. Okay. They'll add up to something. Um, don't try to, you know, bite off more than you could chew. Uh, planning, willpower, and constant application of action are very important at this time. Do not put off any decisions or plans at the moment as it may adversely affect the outcome of what you're planning on doing. Um, this card also is about extra activity, um, and that will be a very welcome positive note. Okay, so this could mean travel, moving, socializing. So if things were stagnant, where nothing seemed to be moving, okay, this card is telling you that things are going to start moving. They're going to start picking up pace. Uh, make sure you do not miss out uh, due to lack of confidence, okay? So, you know, be confident in yourself. Feel motivated. Tell yourself that you can do these things. And again, if you watch my videos, I'm not about just the law of attraction where you just think positive, think positive, as you know, you could sit there all day long thinking about something, but unless you get up off the couch and put it into action, it's not going to materialize. So positive thoughts backed up with positive actions is really what this card is about. Um, you might be able to, you know, get yourself grounded. Uh, think of a plan, put things into action. Um, you could find, you know, distractions increasing. Um, so, you know, beware of that because there's so many distractions when you need to get things done. And, you know, sometimes you fall into procrastination. Uh, so you want to watch out for that uh, because those are going to be things that are going to block you from being able to navigate forward. Uh, but you have what it takes to drive things forward. You have the motivation, the determination and the willpower and these are beautiful, beautiful cards to let you know that, you know, you might not know what you're doing in the beginning of the week, or you may have to make a very important decision. Do not act in haste. Be patient. By the end of the week, you're going to know what you need to do. It's going to be go time. You get the green light and you're going to push forward with whatever plans. You're going to put them into action and you're going to make them a reality. Maybe someone's starting a brand new job or deciding to change jobs. Maybe someone's taken out a course of study, learn something new, maybe turn it into, you know, a, a work, you know, that you love to do. Um, maybe some of you are going to open up a YouTube channel and start doing card readings like this or anything that could help humanity. Anything is possible. So you've been stagnant long enough. It's time to, you know, go forward fearlessly. What a beautiful reading for this week. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.